I felt like a Spanish, like a Puerto Rican in this hair. I felt Puerto Rican. Y'all know I love me some Puerto Rican. I felt Puerto Rican in this. Rican. Ooh. Beedy, 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 Selena wasn't Puerto Rican, bro. Selena wasn't Puerto Rican? No. She was Mexican. Beedy, beedy. All right, y'all. So somebody sent me this clip because they thought it was funny and they were trying to make fun of the wig or whatever. It took me a minute to even realize that this is a boy or a girl. I believe it's a girl because they dressed in purple, but that mask in the future. They're in a wig shop, beauty supply shop or something. It was supposed to be funny, and I guess it is, but there was so much wrong in this short clip that it deserved its own presentation. Let's just start off just immediately, just to start off with the ethnic part, right? So let's check this out. I felt like a Spanish, like a Puerto Rican. Okay, let's stop right there. Start off say I felt like a Spanish. First of all, a Spanish is a language. Spain is a country. And a nationality. So you already know that you understand what Spanish meant to the point that she corrected herself and said no. Puerto Rican. In this hair, I felt Puerto Rican. Y'all know I love me some Puerto Rican. I felt Puerto Rican in this. Rican. Ooh. Beedy, 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 Selena wasn't Puerto Rican. No. She was Mexican. So now you convoluted Puerto Rican with Mexico. Puerto Rico is an island, U.S. Providence, questionably the 51st state unofficially. Mexico is an entire country who was colonized by Spain, which is why they speak Spanish. But it, there is an entire country that America is trying to build a wall to keep out of America. You don't even need a passport to go to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is the crib. Mexico, they're building walls. Two totally different places, two totally different nations, two totally different ethnic groups, two totally different backgrounds, histories, all that. So, first of all, and, I, and the reason I'm hypersensitive to that is because y'all play these crayon games. And y'all think the all brown people are Mexican. Y'all just group them as Latino. Y'all think all white people are white. Y'all never think about Scottish, Irish, Polish, Lithuanian, um, Jewish, um, French, German. All of those are different people with different phenotypes. I can look at somebody from... Uh, Scandinavia, from like Norway, Switzerland, and they could be quote unquote white and they look absolutely nothing like a German or a Frenchman. I can tell, you can look at them like, oh, okay. The way that y'all play these crayon games is some socialist, communist, globalist bullshit. The reason y'all can't take pride in y'all self is because y'all don't even want to know who y'all are. Y'all just like, black is black. Y'all play these crayon fetishes. The second thing I want to talk about is the power of a goofy ass wig. Look at this shit. There is something about just putting on somebody else's hair on your head that instantly makes you a thought. You like totally going to full hood rat momentum. Like you pop, lock, twerk, jerk, shake, bake, pull it to the side. There's something about putting somebody else's hair on your head that makes you a busser. It's just pro. And in addition to that, when you act like a busser, 
because now we go culture instead of color or nationality. When you act like a buzzer, the first thing people say is they act in black, even though this child right here more than likely is acting Mexican as shit or Puerto Rican. But the perception is because it's all sassy and saucy, is they act in black. Even when you see white girls who can actually do cheerleading, you'd be like, oh, they're cheering like a black girl squad. So being a busser, putting somebody else's hair on your head is like, remember how um on He-Man, he just power of gray skull, turn to somebody else. That is what this hat is to people. I thought it was a boy because I would have made the transition complete, but it might be a girl. Just, you know. And I know it's a Mexican girl because their head is round. I can tell a Mexican from a Puerto Rican now when they little and when they big. But them teenage years, I'd be, I don't know. Like before the Mexicans had that, a baby and their whole body turned to a cardboard box. You know what I'm saying? But before they had a kid, when they just got a little figure, you know, it's it's hard to tell. But when they're young and when they're old, you can tell a Mexican from a Puerto Rican. It's a Mexican child. Um. Go we'll write it out. So, what did we learn here today? Number one, try a book. You have a nationality. You don't have to go by crayon combinations. You don't have to listen to toddlers because y'all crayons match. Men dictate the culture. Try a book. Second thing we learned today is do not wear other people's hair or you will become a boss. As always, love each other. As you love yourself, feed the pack. Train your toddler, man. Please train your toddler. Toddler, secretary. The only difference is training. Learn how to be the boss of your relationship. Enroll today. And be sure to subscribe to Toddler Tales on YouTube for your daily dose of dating don'ts.